Philip Brady, how are you, mate? Oh, good to be in prime time, I'm telling you. Tony, <laughs> good to see you. Thanks for inviting me in. See, I, I feel a bit um, a bit fraudulent in a way because you, you shouldn't be my guest. I should be your guest, you know what I mean? I mean, you're the senior partner here. Well, I'm used to uh, doing the interviewing, you know. It's yeah. funny being on the other side for mm. a change. Okay, well, what would you ask you? I'd uh, ask me... What's been the highlight of my 61-year career so far? Mm-hmm. And and I'd have to say the early Channel 9 years with Graham Kennedy and Bert Newton. They can never be repeated. And they were absolutely golden, magical years. Marissa, good morning to you. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Philip. Hi, Marissa. Um, I just wanted to thank, thank you so much for all your programs. And I'm very upset that... Not mine's not going to be on because you've helped me when my mum passed away and when my brother passed away and you've always been there mm. for me and I'm going to miss the show so much. I'm uh, still listening on Sunday night. Yeah. And I just I think it's a really bad decision that Rio W have made. Well, I, w- I want you to give John Stanley a go. He's a really wonderful human being. Uh, sure, he's operating out of Sydney, but he's got a universal appeal, I think. Mm. And uh, I think you'll grow to, to enjoy his company, Marissa. And thanks for your good wishes. It's not like I've died or whatever. I'm no. still, I'm <laughs> still right. around. It's like all these obits happening. Yeah, you know? I know. But, it, you know, there's something to be said. <laughs> yeah. I think we had this conversation uh, another time I was filling in for Neil. Yeah. It would be nice to actually hear while you're alive what people have got to say about you. Well, Tony, I'm so grateful to you. I said to you off the air, you've been a part of three milestones in my life in the last Last year or so, uh, the OAM, which I was mm. lucky enough to receive, my 80th birthday earlier this year, yep. and last year celebrating 60 years That's in right. the visit. Yeah. And you've been a part of all of it, for which I'm very grateful. I'm sorry you didn't get to my 80th birthday. Well, I almost did, but I think I was doing the Sunday footy yes, show. Yes, unfortunately was a, yeah. you were, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but I did invite 125 of my best friends. Well, I know that Peter Hitchner went and he said it was a wow yeah, of a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Peter Ford described it. He said it went on for three days. It was like an Indian wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I've been lucky enough to talk to people like Charlie Chaplin, Sophia Loren, mm-hmm. Alfred Hitchcock, Clint Eastwood. Who was your favourite? Uh, the most the most disappointing was Bing Crosby. Really? He was rather cold and aloof and uh, very distant. Was that disappointing for you? Because yes, you... it was a bit. Mm. Uh, I think I got off to a bad start with him. I was doing an interview with him. I said, I want you to sing a song at the start. He said, no, Mr. Brady, I, I won't sing for you. Mm. And I was 24 years of age and I was... I was impertinent enough to say, well, no song, no interview. <laughs> As you do with Bing Crosby. And, and so we got off to a bad start. He did then choose to sing a few bars of a song. Really? Which I have on tape, but he deliberately sang off key. Is that right? So we got off to a bad start. Jeez, you stuck to your guns. Yeah, but at 24, you're a bit naive and, you know, you throw yourself and you, yeah. you think you get away with it. Elvis? Oh, I missed out on meeting him. I, I was invited. Um, Red West, who was his bodyguard, uh, Red and Sunny West, the two brothers, were Elvis's bodyguards, who later turned the tables on Elvis and were the first to talk about his drug habits. Mm. They wrote a book about Elvis. They were so disappointed in him. However, Red worked on a TV series called Bar Bar Black Sheep and invited me when I was on the set of the TV show to come to Vegas to see Elvis and to meet him, which was a thrill. I wasn't really, Tony, a big Elvis fan at the time, but I had ringside seats at the Hilton International and really, really enjoyed the show. And then afterwards... Uh, this was about 10 o'clock at night. Red West came to my table and said, well, Elvis loves Australians. He wants to meet you. And I said, oh, sorry, Red, I've got tickets for Dean Martin at <laughs> Caesars Palace. And he's starting in half an hour and I have to shoot through. No. Yeah. So, uh, and I said, there's another time. This was 1975. No. And I said, oh, well, next time I'd, I'd love to meet Elvis. But there never was another time. Oh. Uh, you know, Dean Martin was at Caesars Palace. But two years later, Elvis was there. Oh, so geez. I'm the Elvis guy, has left the building. I'm the guy who stood Elvis up. Oh, yeah. my God. That would so, be one of your great regrets, wouldn't it? Yeah, so, hey, did you see Dean Martin? Oh, yeah. Because he's one of my all-time favourite yeah, artists. Uh, disappointing because yeah. he mainly fooled around on stage and never sang a song completely. Uh, He'd start a song yeah. and then he'd pretend he was drunk and fall over the furniture. Did you see Sinatra? 
Uh, five times. Really? Yes. Yeah. Uh, did you get to see Sinatra? Uh, at Melbourne Park in 88, I think oh, it was. Oh, this getting a bit late Steve then. G- uh, uh, Gourmet, Steve, he, uh, Steve Lawrence, Lawrence and Eddie yeah, Gourmet. Yeah, he was a bit over it by then, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was reading off an auto cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, unlike me, he didn't know when to quit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, um, oh, I wish we could have more time, Phil. I really do. We've well, done well, uh, PJ. No, it's great. It's uh, always great to catch up with you, and it's just so good to know that even though Nightline is coming to a close, as we know it, uh-huh. of course, as you said, it continues with John Stanley, uh, mm-hmm. Remember When, still very much part of this station, as is Simon Owens, yeah. who's got a new program on Saturday nights yeah, as well. that's great, isn't it? And thanks for always being so supportive. Uh, for me, you are a legend, mate. Oh, well, thanks very much, Phil. I really appreciate that. And if I could be half as humble and half as talented as you, I'd be very, very happy. See you soon, pal. Thank you. It's half past 11.